Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to work with Daz Studio and we're going to get Daz characters um, and models from Daz into Blender. And you can see this is my Instagram page at Lucid Man Studio. So feel free to stop on by, give me a like or follow me. And for instance, this particular um, image called Wolfgang, uh, some of these uh, items in here are Daz characters such as the uh, uh, the, the gunman here and the wolves. So I did pose most of these in uh, Daz Studio and got them set up in Daz and then exported them from Daz to Blender using a plugin called the Diffeomorphic plugin. So let's go about how we get that into Blender and how we use that. So you're going to go to this website here and I'll put the, the link at the bottom of this video. You're going to click on where it says Daz Importer version 1.6. That's the most obviously the most recent version. And then you're going to scroll down a little bit to where it says repository right here. And you're going to click on this link. And then what you want to do is you want to go over to the left side where it says downloads here. So click on downloads. And then we're going to download the repository. So go ahead and do that. And that'll put it into our downloads folder. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and um, move this file over to an appropriate area where we can extract it. Okay. Once you've got the Diffeomorphic plugin downloaded, I've moved the, uh, the folder from my downloads folder into a folder called blender add on. So you can go ahead and put it wherever you want. Once you get it in there, we're going to go ahead and decompress this file. So we're going to extract all and we'll give that a second to extract. Okay. Once the extraction is done, you want to go ahead and make sure that you keep your zip file. We're going to use it later to install it into blender, but go ahead and go to the extracted file and we're going to go into here and you want to go to a folder called to dad studio. Select that go into scripts and select these two items here. Once you have those selected, hit control C to copy and let's go ahead and launch Daz Studio now. Okay. Now we're in Daz Studio. You should see something like this. When you load up Daz Studio, um, you'll see this welcome screen. Go ahead and get rid of that. So hit X there. And what you want to do is you want to go to where it says there's a tab here that says content library. So you're going to select that. In the upper left, you're going to see this uh, folder here called Daz Studio Formats. So go ahead and click on that. And then we're just going to move this panel over just a little bit. And you should see a folder called My Daz 3D Library. I have two of them because I have two libraries, but you should just see the one. If you only, if you have two like me to select the first one, that should be fine. Hit this arrow to do a drop down, and you want to go down to where it says Scripts. Select scripts and then right click and then browse to folder location. So select that. And what that's going to do is that's going to bring up your scripts folder here. So you can see it right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to paste in that diffeomorphic uh, script. So you're going to hit control V and that's going to paste in the diffeomorphic script with its little PNG guy. Okay. Once you've got that done, go back to Daz studio. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and verify that the script is there. Um, you won't see it right away. What you got to do is you got to right click and hit refresh and that'll go ahead and load the diffeomorphic into, um, Daz studio. So go ahead and click on that. And the first thing we want to do is that we can set up the uh, menus. So just double click on this and that'll go ahead and set up our menus. So if we hit okay and go to file now in the top left, you'll see where it says export to blender. So this is a shortcut to get to the export instead of going down into comp content library and going all the way down to scripts and then hitting export blender here, you can just do it in the file menu. All right. The next thing we want to do is we need to save our paths. So we're going to double click on this and on my desktop, I have a diffeomorphic folder created. So you can do the same thing. If this is where you want to store all your Daz content to be exported and imported into blender, or you can change it every time, but you got to make sure that you set up your path to the correct location. So for this uh, tutorial, we're going to set it up to here. So I'm going to double click on diffeomorphic and it's going to save my JSON file into this folder. So we're just going to hit save. Okay. Once we've done that, we're going to hit okay. 
So let's go ahead and do a test. We're gonna build a small scene. So we'll go to Smart Content here and we'll click on Figures over in the left side. And I'm gonna use the Genesis Starter Essentials. This is free, you can download it from uh, for Daz Studio. So we'll double click on that. And if you wanna just follow along, that's fine. And then Figures on the left. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm, I'm gonna load the basic male character. So let's load that guy. Okay, so I've got him in the uh, scene here. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch my preview to NVIDIA iRay. Just looks better that way. And we'll go ahead and give him some clothing. So we'll go down to wardrobe here in the lower left, click on underwear, and we'll give him some boxers, okay? And I guess we'll also give him a shirt as well. So we'll give him this shirt here. I'm just double clicking here and it loads it into the scene. Okay, great. So now that we've got them loaded, uh, we're gonna do a pose. So click on poses and we can basically select any pose we want. I'm gonna do this male boxer pose here. So I'm gonna select that, okay? So we have our pose. And now the next thing we need to do is that we need to save this scene. So we're gonna go up to file again, save as scene. And we're gonna put it into that diffeomorphic folder again. So I'm gonna go to desktop, diffeomorphic, and now I'm gonna save the scene. I'm just gonna call it test. And I'm gonna hit save. Okay, once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and export this to Blender. Now we don't have the plugin set up in Blender yet, but it won't matter. Okay, so we're gonna go over to file. Okay. We're doing this so we don't have to go back and forth. So we're gonna hit export to Blender and we want to put it into the same diffeomorphic folder where we have our scene file. And we're gonna go ahead and hit save. Make sure you don't change the name, okay? So it's saving it right now. And it tells us how long it took to save and whatnot. If it doesn't save correctly, just make sure that you have your Genesis figure selected before you hit save or before you export to Blender. So if you don't have it selected, you could, if it looks like this, you can just go over to scene and select Genesis and it will select it. And then you can go back up to file, export to Blender. Just make sure you use the same name. Okay, now that we've done that, we're gonna go into Blender and we're gonna add the plugin. All right, so we're back in Blender and we wanna go ahead and load that plugin, the Diffeomorphic plugin into Blender. So we're gonna go up to edit in the top left Go down to preferences make sure you have add-on selected here and we're going to hit install at the top we're going to find our plugin that we downloaded so we'll go to diffeomorphic um, actually we're going to go to blender shortcuts blender add-ons because this is where we put it and we're going to select the zip file that we originally downloaded okay once you've done that you're going to hit install add-on and it's gonna go ahead and put the plugin into Blender. You're gonna click on this square right here to turn it on, and you're gonna exit out of this window. You might wanna go ahead and go down here to the hamburger menu and save your preferences if you prefer this to be loaded every time you start Blender. Okay, X on the window there. I'm gonna hit N on the numpad, or excuse me, on the keyboard, and I'm gonna go over to Daz Importer. Okay, so before we import the uh, the model, we need to go to global settings and we need to take care of a couple items. So once you're in this menu here or in this screen, you wanna make sure that you have some kind of directory that reads daz 3 d studio my library. If you have something like that, then you're all set to go. I have a couple different libraries, so which is why I have three here, but you should have something like that. The next thing you need to do is you need to load the root path where the JSON file is. So click on that, go back to desktop, diffeomorphic, and then make sure you have the folder um, selected where the JFON, uh, excuse me, the JSON uh, file resides. And then click on load root paths in the lower right. Okay. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and go up to import DAS. Okay. And you're going to go ahead and find the model that you saved. Okay, so the one I saved is this one called uh, test.duf. So that's the one that was that I um, in Dad Studio where I clicked on export to Blender. That's my file that I want. And I think it's a good idea on the material method here on the right to select principled. It's much easier to edit the materials that way. And then go ahead and click on import DAS. Let's try that again. 
and there we go it's it's brought in our character now you might get something down here where it says the light settings are insufficient etc uh, go ahead and ignore that just click ok uh, you don't need to worry about that so let's go ahead and zoom in our character here okay and i'm going to go ahead and turn off the bones all right and let's go ahead and check out the render preview and we'll give it a second and that's basically how you get a daz character into blender all right and if you found this video helpful please uh, leave me a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel it really helps me out and we'll see you down the road